What's up all you space monkeys? This is KG48 and welcome back to my Masters of Orion Let's Play. This is episode 3. Um, I've changed a couple things on here since last episode. I turned up the music one tick because it seemed a little low to me. Um, and I also checked the graphics like someone asked me to. And I've and the graphics are actually set pretty low. I actually jacked up all the graphics to as high as they would go. So um, let's see how that works out for us. Alright, so let's see. Let's look around and get reacclimated to where we were. Okay, so we've got a... Oh, yeah, we're going to colonize a planet over here. Yep, awesome planet. Yep, yep, we got some uh, pirates coming in. Not really worried about that because we have a frigate here ready to defend. Uh, yep, next turn. Biosphere is completed. Next colony shipping queue next. Um, Ashid 2's grown. So there we go. We got another person here. Um, this looks pretty good. I do want to go with some research here. Uh, what's next in the queue? Cloning center? Sounds good to me. Sounds good to me next turn. Oh, looks like this guy's gonna... The pirate is gonna fight my military outpost. This is a joke, so we're just gonna simulate. Close that out. Choose production. Okay, so what do we got here? So, we got some... We got nice research. We got some food. Uh, you know what? I kind of want this place to start growing quicker. Um, biospheres will give us some nice food. Oh, man. Do we have any uh, problems? It doesn't look like we have any problems with morale, though 70 morale is not really that high. Um, how about... Biosphere. And then after that, we'll go with the research library. <clears throat> Alright, go for it. We need you to grow. Alright, so right here, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, claim this planet for our own. It's a pretty sweet planet. This is a... Not a great planet. Oh, I didn't even see this planet there. It's small, but still. Alright, whatever. Let's uh, go ahead and colonize. See what the music sounds like. I turned the music up one tick. I don't want the music to be too high, but... Yeah, it's really low in these parts. But the thing is, I don't think... The music doesn't separate from the... Um, from these cutscenes to the game. And I don't want the game music that high. So, you know... It is what it is. Alright, man, this is an incredible planet. I want to start growing this planet. Just start growing it. And let's go ahead and start with an automated factory. Absolutely. Got to Man, do I have, do I have uh, troop transports yet? Because I'd love to, like, just send people over to this planet. Um, do we need to defend it? We do need to defend this planet for now. Uh, we could possibly build... Now, here's the thing. Um, there's... there's these little uh, military outposts, if someone's friendly, they can fly right past them. So if I put a military outpost right here, technically someone could fly right by it and come and attack my planet. But the thing is, space pirates can't do that. And I don't think another player is going to do that, although I don't really know. Um, this could be a little bit of trial and error for these, you know, first, first game here. But uh, let's see if there's any other good planets over here. Yeah, there's some really nice planets over here, too. Um... Where is my, uh, where's my, sh where's my space builder? It's right here. No, that's just a frigate. I'm not really sure where it is. Alright, let's just, uh, leave him there for now. Uh, why don't you just guard? Highness, this is important. Um, these deep space creatures range from relatively harmless to potentially devastating, so we should make sure, so we should make sure we are capable of withstanding a fight. Okay, view a monster. Oh, okay, look at that. It's a not it's uh strength is nine forty two. Okay. So uh it's gonna if it tries to attack it's gonna fly right into my military outpost, so I'm not really not really that concerned. Alright, we got the atmospheric renewer, which is gonna be really nice for pollution. Um, we also have Merculite missiles. Uh Merculite missiles carries a powerful chemical explosion warhead capable of uh, delivering high damage on impact missiles due Missiles do not miss unless destroyed or jammed. Okay, that's pretty interesting. I don't, I don't think it's going to be better than a, than a nuclear missile. Huh? Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade those. We'll look into our ships at, at some point, but we're not going to do it right now. Um, Alright, what do we want to do next? Uh, electronics. Uh, deep scanner. Yeah. Shields? Shields could be nice. Uh, ECM jammer uh, generates a magnetic pulse that... 
Confuses both weapon targeting systems and missile guidance. This effect is high chance of missiles and torpedoes targeting ship to go astray. So that's basically something you put on your ship and it'll protect you a little bit from missiles and, and torpedoes. Um, unlocks Embassy Treaty. You know what? I want to go with that. Blessed be the I want to start opening up embassies. Okay, so we just finished our laboratory here. So our science should be pretty decent. And now what we're going to do is we are going to take a look at what it costs. We can't even look at it. I want to see exactly what the military outpost costs because I honestly don't remember. So what we're going to do is we're just going to come up here and go to that war point. No, that's a frigate. Where's the um? Where's the ship that built it? There it is, Space Factory. Okay, so you come on up here. And the frigate. Uh, what do I want to do with you? Hmm. I mean, space pirates can still get in from this side. I don't think any space pirates are going to come from this side, but they can still get in from this side. Um, this might be a good place to put a military outpost. Also, I'm thinking we're going to go as far as Pegasus, but I'm thinking since there, there's a... Um, who's over here, anyway? Uh, what are they? The Sakura? Since the Sakura are over here, um, I'm assuming that they're going to start coming this way. We need to get to Pegasus. Actually, the Sakura might have already gotten to Pegasus, now that I think about it. Yeah, I think Sakura already got the Pegasus. We should, we should go scout that out. Yeah, let's go scout that out. There you go. So if Sakura already got the Pegasus, we have to claim these planets here, and we got to start expanding. Um, I, I kind of like it'd be nice if I could keep the Sakura boxed in with military outposts, but it doesn't work that way. We got a pirate fleet. Okay, it looks like they're gonna come around this way, which is fine. Uh, I mean, I wonder if they can mess up my asteroid library. They probably can. All right. Why don't you uh, why don't you stay here for defense? All right. Guard. Next turn. Oh, the squid's attacking. Wait. Yeah, that's not good. I think the squid's about to uh, kill me. I did not see that coming. Son of a bitch. Now, where's the squid? Is he dead? Did he, like, kill himself? Or... <laughs> like, that's kind of weird. Well, that's a damn... That's a damn shame right there. All right, well, live and learn. I'm not protecting my, my colonies. That's what happens. You know, you gotta... You gotta protect your colonies. All right, so... Why don't you go ahead and scout in here? I want to see what's going on. Uh... Something complete. Colony ship is completed. All right, so... That, that squid is really tough. Now, the, the, I don't know if the squid got killed. I don't think he would have gotten killed. I don't see why he would have gotten killed. So we're going to need some ships. Um, I'm thinking... Boy. How, how much power does a destroyer have? 116. Oh my god, that squid is badass. Um, let's go take a look at our... Let's go take a look at ship design. Uh, we're going to take a look at the... Oh, the destroyer is 494. Why was it saying it was so little? 494 is supposed to be the destroyer. This says 116. Am I missing something? Hmm. Alright, let's just build it. And we'll see what it comes out as. Actually, we could probably buy it. No, we can't. It's too expensive. Alright, choose research. A new trick. Thanks to our Improves communication with other races, allowing more fluid... Dialogue and open new uh, avenues of negotiation unlocks research treaty, established embassy, and alliance and offensive treaty. Okay. All right. So what do we want now? Economics. Um, the foundation of the uh, the foundation of the review service program brings. Uh, but now. Nah. Deep space exploration. Uh, exploration. Not sure which one I want to go with here. Yeah, let's go with deep space exploration. I'm on it, your Okay. So you need to do something, but the damn freaking squids over there. I want that freaking planet back. 
Um, we're not going to have a fleet that can destroy that squid anytime soon. So maybe we should just come over here. First of all, let's bring you through here. Yep, they've taken two planets here. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to bring you back here. And we need to grab... Or if either of these planets are any good, we need to grab them. Um, this one's not that good. I mean, it's not bad, right? Ultra poor, but you can you can build things that will help with production. This does give a gold boost. And this one's really nice, but the population's too small. Um, if we're going to get that... that Let's take a look at the planets we have left. I really want to get the best planet I can. No, these are all kind of suck. Yeah, I grabbed that one. That's good. This one's not bad. I mean, it's not bad. It's got to be better than the, than the other planet. I don't think you can do anything with gas giants yet. I thought there was a really nice one. Oh, yeah, this one's not bad. It's only medium, but medium's not terrible. The thing is, we can't really defend it. Now, that's that said, that's, this is a place we want to build at. Because you can't build a military outpost unless you have a planet there. So I'm thinking, put a, put a planet here, military outpost, and it protects this whole left flank. The only reason I might not want to do that is because if these guys come through, they might grab up the planet. See, now that planet's not great either, and they still grabbed it. So they're grabbing whatever planets they can. So they might, they might actually grab these planets. Maybe we should grab these planets just because we don't want them to get them. I think I'm going to grab this planet. I know its production is low, but uh, I think that's going to be okay. Let's grab it before they do. I think I'm being a little bit too picky on the planets that I'm grabbing. Not only do I have to grab planets that are good, but I have to grab planets that the other the enemy um, might grab, might be tempted to grab, you know, next. All right, so we got this guy right here, so that's fine. All right, why don't you go ahead and build a military outpost? Okay, so what does the military outpost do for us? So the military outpost has no. Oh, it costs a command point. That's what... Okay. I was going to say, there's like no downside, but no, it can't, It costs a command point. That's okay. That's a good place for it. And they're building one right there, too, so... All right, so we need some production here. So what's going on? This guy's on strike. Um, is there anything we can do for morale? I believe we have a government uh, support facility. Let's do that for morale. And after that, the Atmospheric Renewer. Um, look, there's a lot of population there. Uh, a lot of pollution there. Um, oh, boy. I don't know what I want to do next. Well, you know what? Let's, uh, let's do a Marine Barracks. All right. It, it, uh, the Marine Barracks produces four Marines. Uh, it gives plus morale, which is cool. Uh, Marine Barracks allows the colony to train and maintain ground troops to protect colony from invaders. So... I think that will probably... Or we could do ships. Now nah, let's... Oh, we should probably do ships. Yeah, let's do some ships. We're in desperate need of ships. Is there anything I want to buy? Um, next colony, 104. Get rid of three turns for 104. That's not bad. Let's do that. 136, yes. Okay. Got those pirates coming in. All right, so what what are, what are you? How good are you? Yeah, see, they're in 494. They're not nearly as weak as I thought. And this guy's 131 because it's a frigate. This is my first destroyer. Now, the destroyer's still not good enough to defeat the squid. Um, so we're just going to leave him here for now. And we're going to make some more destroyers. Or maybe we should... We need population. Cloning. Yes. The thing is, if we uh, population growth, uh, the cloning facility means you will grow faster. And the thing is, I can make all my um, I can make all of my uh, colony ships from this planet, and it'll grow back even quicker. So let's let's do that. Let's do that for sure. And I kind of want that out five. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Oh boy. Um. Seven, yeah, seven, four. Uh, now nah, let's keep it on there. I want that done. All right, we need more production here. So this place, I really want to, to grow. All right, so we did the we did the production facility, so we could gra drag this guy up here for more food, and it's still getting a relatively decent amount of production. Let's go with the hydroponic farm. We're going for full bore 
Um, per, uh, yeah. Oh, cloning facility should be first, actually. Let's do that. No, so what you do is you go to cloning facility and biosphere. And then you just kind of drag these. I want the cloning facility first. And we're going to actually, we're going to rush to cloning facility. It'll help this place grow even faster. Yes, 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 yes. That will work. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna colonize this this place. Okay, we're gonna skip that because we've seen this stuff already. Um, we're gonna go for food because it's four. Four is better than one. <laughs> um, and we're also going to go for automated factory. Um, we need to have guys working um, production on this one. Not so much anything else. Although I don't see them have any a lot of production things. Yeah, I only have one production building, huh? Hmm, okay. Alright. Uh, we'll do the production, then we'll do the uh, cloning center. And we'll see where we go after that. This is going to be really poor. Uh, oh, what's this? Low gravity on this planet makes it ill-suited for your race. Oh, I didn't even I didn't even see that. Okay. The disorientation increased number of accidents caused the production research and food to drop by 50%. Wow. Well, I should have paid attention to that. Lesson learned. All right, so we got that, that, that. Choose research. We learned a new trick. Thanks to oh, cool! Now we can make civil transports. That's really good. So we can move, we can move population around. We can also make fungal farms. Fungal farms produce food without the need for farmland, sunlight, or rain. This food is not. This food is not plantable. Uh, pal sorry, palatable. So colonies will uh, with better biomes uh, will not need this facility. Okay, fair enough. Um, now what? Economics to finish it or advanced fusion that would give us the fusion drive for faster ships. The of the Let's do that. Kuruk's old eye has seen this before. All right, civil transports carry population from one the colony they are built to where you need them the most. Select a densely populated colony and build a civil transport to help populate one of your more sparse colonies. The civil transport will use load one. Will use load one population user automatically when built. Oh, okay. You must have at least two population units. In the okay, so that's interesting. But you got to make sure you can feed where you're bringing the extra person. Um, so this really wouldn't be a great place to bring extra people, huh? This is my main my main place. This is where I want extra people. I want I want this place grown. Okay, all right. I'll have to pay attention to that. Um, yeah, whatever. Next turn. Next turn. Alright, choose research. I'm sorry, choose production. Alright, so, um... Research laboratory? That wouldn't be terrible. We could move... Um, is this my main place? Yeah, it is. We're gonna grow on one turn. I'm not really sure what I want to do here. Colony ship. Destroyer. Alright, let's see uh let's see what two destroyers power is. Oh, there's only one destroyer here? I thought I made two. Well okay then let's make uh let's make some more destroyers. You know, before I make destroyers, why don't you give me a minute? I'm gonna go look at ship design. Okay, um, I've changed a little bit with this. Um, it had it had this uh, this ship had nuclear bombs, which is basically for like wiping out uh, targets on the ground. Um, that's not what I'm going to be using these guys for, so I took out the nuclear bombs. Um, I basically gave it a neutron blaster, which is the best blaster I could get. Um, four way facing, I've got two of them, and Merc, um, Merc. Damn it, I said these right before, and now I don't know how to say them. Well, whatever. These missiles are actually more damaged than the nuclear missiles, and um, I got seven of those. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing here. The one thing it doesn't say anywhere that I can see is I don't think it tells you the range of these weapons. Um, unless I'm missing something here. Knowing the range of these weapons would really, really help. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. Let's, uh, let's name this test. Uh... Test ship. I don't know. Test ship. Yeah, we're gonna test this. Also, you could change the uh, the theme, the ship model, alternate destroyer. I guess there's only two, and the theme. I guess it's just the color. 
I'm gonna go to alternate two. That looks a little bit cooler. So, all right. So let's uh, let's go with that. We'll see how it goes. Test ship. It's 785, by the way. The uh, the the damage just went up. Okay, upgrade ships. So yes, upgrade all. So this ship should have gotten upgraded, right? Now it's test ship. It's 785. Seems like a much better ship, doesn't it? I don't know if it's much better. I don't know. I, I don't know, but uh, we're gonna go for it. Um. Test ship. Let's make one more of those, and then we're going to go after that stupid squid thing and get our goddamn planet back. Peace. Oh, they're going to go over and get that planet, aren't they? The Sky Lord of the Alkari greets you. Wonder. Goodbye. Oh, you know what we never did? We never messed around with our embassy stuff. Uh, let's do that now, actually. Uh, diplomacy. All right. What's up, bro? Um, he's pretty neutral to us. Let's get an audience with him. Welcome, friend. What have you to say? All right, negotiations. All right, so... Okay, so what would I be interested here in? A research treaty? A trade treaty? We need embassies for all these. I'm pretty sure. So, why don't we just do an embassy? Embassy. Oh, he can he not... Uh, propose? A deal done. There you go. Negotiations. Research treaty, non-aggression pact... And member. Uh, oh, yeah, okay. You can vote for him. Research. Trade. Trade treaty, um, a long-term commercial agreement with a with a per-turn yield uh, for both parties. Sure, let's go with that. A good thing for okay. sure. All right, so let's do the same thing with the other person. I mean, if we can get more money, why not, right? Audience. The blessings of the sky. All right, what embassy. Opposition would you put forth? Embassy. As you wish. All right. What trade treaty? Put forth? So twenty turns. It I'm gonna get money. I'm gonna get money from those treaties. Win. All right. That's good enough for now. We'll look at other you things later. All right. So we got the fusion drive, which is, uh, basically makes our ships quicker. Um. It looks like it wants this to put. Okay. It looks like it wants to put fusion drives in all our ships. But I'm not going to do it with the test ship, because that's my ship. So we'll do it with the rest of them, though. And then we'll go through and build ships. I'm going to I'm gonna do my building of ships um, off camera, though, because it's kind of boring and just trying to figure things out. Um, maybe once I get really good at it, I can uh, do it more on camera. But All right, so what do we got here? So economics, military tactics. Um, detects alien DNA over the colony population and pre security. Interesting. Troop transport. Don't they already have one of these? Um, troop transport carry four marines. No, I guess not. No, I have I'm I have uh, civilian transport. Hand to hand and paw to claw. Sounds good, man. Friends let's not good. let's be friends. This could be of aid in our campaign. All right, so we're getting pollution in one of our colonies. Okay, so that's a problem right there. So, um, when that's done, we will go with the. Actually, we should see what pollution does. Pollution is of, of industrial waste in the colony. Each biome type can withstand a certain amount uh, before it starts degrading. Several structures can can be built to clean up. Okay, so I'm not sure what degrading means, though. Um, but let's not find out. Let's uh, go with pollution cleanup. And I believe once... Uh, I think once the pollution cleanup is finished, this will come right off. And then when that's done, we'll go with atmospheric renewer. That means we're going to have to make our colony ship at another planet... No, that's not good. We're going to have to make it here. So, your next thing is going to be a colony ship. Okay. Alright, got it. Next turn. We should probably see how uh, morale's doing. Let's see how morale's doing. You go to Empire. Um, it should say if anyone's on strike somewhere around here. Yeah, it says nobody's on strike. So, that's good. I guess. Um, and our taxes are pretty good, so, uh, yeah. That's nice, that's nice. Alright, fleet needs orders. Alright, so you're done. Yeah, they did the same thing over there. Um, okay. You know what's really weird about this game that I'm having problems with? Look at the, look at the, look at his two colonies. Look at his two planets, and look at my two planets. Now, coming from Civilization Five and every other game I've ever played, Red 
always signifies enemy planets, and green always like signifies your planets or white or something like that. This is a real mind screw for me. Every time I see red, I keep thinking it's one of his planets. Just thought that was interesting. All right, so what do we want to do with this guy now? I think that's going to be it for now. Let's bring this guy over here. And we're going to also call this video. Uh, that's going to be it for episode three. And we will see you next time for episode four. Until then, take it easy.